you're all guards. Custodians of the law, gods help us. What do you think makes a hero? Well, a true hero doesn't know he's a hero, does he? I mean, it's all relative. How do you mean relative? It's like, maybe you ought to get a relative to fight the dragon. Oh, that's clever. I wish I'd thought of that. Ah. You've got to be at least a corporal to have tactical ideas like that. Oh, good grief. Look, all I want to know is... Have you got spare relatives, sir? Well, I have an aunt. There you are, then. Case closed. She's nearly 80. Better than wasting a younger person, then? Yeah. Cost the dragon will eat anyone. Right. Right. Look, we're getting sidetracked. How can I tell if someone's a proper hero? Well, a hero always knows what to do next. Does she? Who? His aunt. His aunt's going to fight the dragon? Let's hear it. For a brave old lady. Shut up about my aunt. My aunt's not fighting the dragon. I need a proper hero. You said your aunt was a hero. Didn't he say that? Corporal Nobbs, he said his aunt was a hero. I heard him. Oh, I'd be proud of her if I was him. Look, let's not start that again. How do you actually recognize a hero? They've got a birthmark. Means they're a king or what's name. All heroes do. That's what makes them heroes. Has your aunt got one? Have you ever asked? How often do you write to her these days? What do you brave soldiers, brave soldiers, know about dragon slaying? I mean, what kind of chance would someone like me have against a dragon? Listen, mate, the odds of killing a dragon must be a million to one. You'd have to be a hero. So what are the odds of someone like me finding everything a hero has to have? What? Forget it, mate. The odds of you finding all that stuff would be... A million to one? Yeah, that's it. So if I had a birthmark, and if I recited a magic spell, and if I was wearing a black mask? Well, let me see. I reckon that would be 375,000 to 1. Actually, it's been a while since I had a bath. That doesn't work. The Secrets of Forbidden Confectionery, Volume 3, Love Custard for Beginners. Hmm? That doesn't work. I already have one of those. What? What are you doing just standing there? Go out and kill that dragon. Him? Him kill dragons? Ha ha! Don't make me wheeze! In my day, we had heroes to deal with dragons. Big fellas with swollen pectorals. At least I think that's what they were called. Heroes aren't so important. I still reckon this youngster over here could kill a dragon if he really had to. Him? Ha! It'd have to be a million to one chance. Heroes? Ha, huh, well, I can tell a hero a mile off. They've always got a magical talisman on them. It's like when you go to a fair. What? And win it? 
Uh, oh, no, no, not a fear. Uh, a, f a fate! A fate! That's it! You aren't fated to be a hero unless you can find a magical talisman! Right, you are then. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. So, you're the bursar. What does a bursar do, exactly? Well, it's a very important job. Accounts, expenditure, occasional bouts of irrationality, the assessment of grants. Well, it, it sounds a bit... well, boring, doesn't it? That's the job's main attraction, my surgical sock. These tenures are for life. So, since wizards are naturally extremely long-lived, that means the only way to get promoted is to assassinate your superiors. They've been popping off like mayflies around here for some seasons. <laughs> Sometimes we've got, wait for it, more wazards than wizards. <laughs> They're in no danger from me. I never really thought about promotion. Wazards, you see? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh well, my post is safe though. Who wants to claw their way up to the top only to become an accountant in a silly hat? Mark my words, folding trouser press. Survival is all a matter of identifying your proper niche. Preferably a niche well removed from anything anyone else finds desirable. So you're the, uh... The Bursar. Oh, thank heavens. I'd hate to have forgotten the name of someone useful. Look, you're the Bursar, aren't you? That's right. I do the finances, books and things, and I'm quite totally insane, you know. Any calculations you need, I'm your giant frog. But that's just accounting. Surely to hold a major position in a wizard's university, you must be able to perform magic. After all, that's what the place is all about. Magic is all very well, young sink disposal unit, but mathematics is the more powerful art. Oh, come on. You don't believe me? Very well, Mr. So-called Scented Furniture Polish. Care to watch while I make your grant disappear? Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. So look, as an aged wizard, I mean, you know, as someone who's climbed to the very depths, is there any advice you feel you might like to pass on? I mean, a few words of guidance, perhaps to one who hopes to follow in your pointy footsteps. Ah, yes. Well, young fellow my wallpaper, well, I'd say that of all lessons in life, Always learn to expect the unexpected. Hmm. But if I expect it, then it isn't unexpected. Eh? Well, by definition, it can't be unexpected if it actually is expected. Quite right, my boy. Well spotted. In which case, my advice to you is to always expect the expected. Is that clear? I expect so. So, your faculty heads, the giants of wizardry, this is it. This is as good as life gets. Contemplating promotion? No, I'm contemplating a change of career. Listen, one thing I've always meant to ask, these, uh, these dresses we wear, are they, um, are they strictly necessary? Eh? The robes, lad, are symbolic of our dedication. You see, this is not so much a calling, a, a profession, as a condition of mind. By wearing long robes, we imply a somnambulistic state. An attitude in which we walk dreamily through this world with our minds occupied by higher things. Higher? Like, say, as high as this hat? Well, the hat, too. Its height employs loftiness of tots. Or it might imply that we should have let our mothers keep on dressing us. What's more, it keeps young whippersnappers like you from running off. Eh? Would you want to walk the streets looking like a refugee from a somewhat suspicious pencil factory? Point taken. Is this all you do all day? Just sit and make a public nuisance of yourself? I'm reserving my powers. What powers? Well, for a start, I can read your mind. Really? What do you see? Not much. You must have the big print version. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Hey! <laughs> a girl! What's a girl doing in here? I'm not a girl! Why are you... why are you wearing a dress? It's a wizard's robe, not a dress. <laughs> I knew a girl's dress once. Splendid lass. Very good at pickling. This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. That doesn't work.
I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Would you believe he gets a full tenure for this? Hey there, old mollusk! What can it- Ooh, 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 ooh! Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Yeah. Ooh! Uh, ooh, ooh! Hmm! Woo! Yes, I thought so. But look, if I- Hmm. Hey there, old mollusk! Ooh! Hmm! Ooh! 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, but look, if I did have- Hmm. Hey there, old mollusk! Ooh! 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 ooh. Hmm. So what you're saying is that L space is a means of time travel available only to librarians, which is essentially too complex a subject to convey with hand gestures and grunts. <laughs> yes, I thought so. But look, if I did have to go into L space, say, to go back to another time, you could help me? Hmm. Excuse me, do you have the book Recoglimento's Never Failing Guide to Dragon Summonation? <laughs> I see. <laughs> yes. Me, uh, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? <laughs> well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? <laughs> No, I'll come back and get a book later. Whoop! Whoop, whoop! Yes, I've given up. No, no not given, monkey. Hey! Oh, damn! <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. That doesn't work. That's where the dragon summoning book used to live. That doesn't work. That's where the dragon summoning book used to live. Ah, Lampus Illuminaticus. No fool in this wizard. I've taken an advanced course in lamp recognition, I have. That doesn't work. Ah! 
Um, I'd rather not. Wizards and flames don't go together. What's that noise? Oh, uh, sorry. That noise! What's that noise? I can't hear you. Wait a minute while I turn off the noise. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm banging grains. It's for the clickies. We need a novelty food for people to eat while watching the shows. Banged grain? Great name. Yes, I thought it up myself. Yeah, I can tell. Does it always make that awful noise? It's a civil disturbance, that is. Don't you need a license for doing that? Well, I asked if you needed a permit to bang grain, and they've given me one of these instead. This is a permit for soliciting street girls. <laughs> what is that better than exploded corn kernels with butter? You don't get out much, do you? Have you ever thought of... What? Well, the advantages of heading back into more traditional lines of work. Base metals into gold, that sort of thing. No, no, no future in it. I turn one base metal into another one, and then another, and then into gold. Ten minutes later, it all reverts to the original metal again. Back to first base? Yes, that's the one. You want to get your process cheaper? This stuff's too expensive. Well... I bought the grain special from the grocers. Why don't you go down the livery stable? You'd pay a third the price. Yeah, yeah, that's an idea there. Now you watch the shop for a moment and, and I'll be back. Here! This camera even has a little veranda and an easel for the imp. Hmm, empty. What's in here then? Looks. What's in here then? Looks like cooking oil. That doesn't work. a bit hot. Someone should do something about that. That... Hmm. The world just swims with possibilities. doesn't work. That 
doesn't work. Make money in your spare time. Apply to Ankmore Pork City Mint, Outworkers Department. It's a man's life in the city watch. Vacancies for trolls, dwarves, gnomes and undead. Be a man in the city watch. Coffin for sale. One owner only. Low mileage. Apply after dark to Baron Not Far Auto, Elm Street. It's him, old, um, old, uh, what's his face, uh, uh, the hero. Him? A hero? I still say you're wrong. It's hundreds to one that a little wimp like him could take out a dragon. Where's your friend gone now? Slumming. What, is that him in the grave? He's only shamming. Wants to see who turns up with flowers. Look. I really think you ought to call a doctor or something. I think he might be quite ill. No, don't play along with it. It'll only encourage him. As heroes, I mean real bona fide heroes, don't you think there's something useful you should do? Do? Are we invited to a do? Hmm, I'll do. Take action. Fight against oppression, that sort of thing. Long time since I last went to a do. There was custard, I remember. And sausages on pearls. No, I mean, shouldn't, shouldn't we all band together against the dragon? A band? Are they having a band as well? Canopies. That's what they call them. Stuck in a pineapple. Very cultured. I wonder if we're invited. What can you tell me about heroes? Heroes? Can we tell you about heroes or what? Yes, indeedy. Can we what? What? Tell him about heroes. Oh, oh yes, yes. Heroes. Yes. Well, the first thing your potential hero must do is look right. Can't have shoddy looking heroes, can we? No, indeedy. Now, the most important thing for your aspiring hero is a posing pouch. Just the thing for attracting young maidens. Yes, indeedy. Oh, indeedy me. The bigger the better. That's what I always say. Just ignore him. I really do think we ought to get organized about this dragon. Quite right. Absolutely. But I told him you won't find one around here. The city's built on loam, you see. You've got to go up to the mountains to find them. Find what? what? What are you talking about this time? Uh, rocks. Uh, you, you need a rock. A rock and some bombs. Or stocks. I've got some 10% stocks in a company somewhere. Can't say I want a dragon to eat them, though. Yeah, no sharecropping here. A virgin tied to a rock with bonds. You have to have it. It's tradition. Why is tradition so important? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Why? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Why? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Why? Uh, because uh, human beings are essentially uh, repetitive creatures. Why? Uh, because uh, human beings are essentially uh, repetitive creatures. I'll give in. You've got more practice at this than me. Oh, you don't get to my age without being open to old ideas. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Alright, what are you selling this time? Weight loss, sir? I beg your pardon? Feeling like a bucket of lard, sir? Like the proverbial ambulatory what's name? Whale? Look, what are you selling this time? Just get it over with. It's the Lechosuction Weight Loss Program, sir. Guaranteed to turn a hippo into a nymph in just one year or your money back. Let me guess, you're proposing using leeches to suck out someone's fat. Beauty can be yours while you wait, sir. But the leech is a hematoparasite. What, sir? It drinks blood. It doesn't gobble up cellulite. A little leech can't make you lose any weight. Depends how much blood it takes, sir. You'd be surprised. It's all guaranteed. Lose weight in one year or your money back. Here, have a leaflet. 
It says here that the management reserves the right to define one year according to any local calendar it sees fit. That's right, sir. But the Trumelian calendar year is 311 months long. Really, sir? Well, look, seeing as how you're a friend, I'll do you a discount. I'm cutting my own throat, but... Look, I don't need a weight loss system. Have you thought about the future, sir? I mean, you could remove weight now and store it for use in the future. Could cut down on grocery bills, sir. Now, I don't think that's very practical. Well, our medical practice now offers a variety of other services and cures, sir. I've got wart treatments, rheumatism, here's a potion guarantee to cure blindness. But I'm not blind! You see, sir? A miracle cure. You're not fooling anyone, you know. Oh, well, sir. Perhaps we can do business in the future. Ah! Could you tell me about that leecho suction thing again? Care for one, would you, sir? Cut price, I'm cutting my own throat. Okay then, couldn't do any harm. As if I haven't had enough exercise of late. Poultry power. A nice strong rubber belt, that. Sir, come and taste the quality of my wares. What in Offler's name are you selling? And where have all those flies come from? So what are you selling? Selling? Why, custard, sir. The finest blue ribbon custard. Based on what comparison? Ah. I mean, if it's the finest blue ribbon custard, that means as compared to some other brand of custard. Well, compared to other custards that don't have blue ribbons. J just tell me what's so special about this custard, then. It's an aphrodisiac, sir. A love potion. A magic so potent that none can resist its spell. Love custard? What a terrible thought! Wait a minute! Why is this custard all lumpy? Nothing, sir. Merely local colour. I guarantee that our custard stocks are now largely free of insect-oriented problems. Look, aren't you the guy who used to collect the dunny cans? All that is behind me now, sir. I am now the custard king. So what are all the flies doing here? cooling system, sir. They're fanning the custard with their wings to take the heat off. Oh, well, look, I'm still a bit concerned about the level of hygiene. Do you have health standards? Yes, indeed, sir. Well? Well, what, sir? What are your health standards? Oh, we watch the flies very carefully, sir. The moment one looks a little bit off colour, he's hauled off to bed and we don't listen to any excuses. There you go! Ground colour. Gad, but there's no expense spared in this place. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Have you ever thought of using this virginity thing as an advantage? Eh? Oh, as a virgin, I mean. Have you ever thought about the career possibilities of being, say, for instance, tied to a rock? Oh, um, well, uh, <laughs> I don't actually qualify anymore. What? Did someone finally best you in combat? Um, at Tiddlywinks, actually. Tiddlywinks?! Well, the goddess and me, we finally reached this understanding. Oh, blast! And I'm good at Tiddlywinks! 
So what's up in the mayhem department today? Well, funny you should say that. Business is taking a very odd turn. Hmm? I did what you said, issued certificates of lustful intent and it worked quite well. But then some fellows began transferring them. You know, saying I couldn't hit them because they'd passed the certificate on to someone else. Turns out they were cancelling people's debts if they took the note off their hands as a favour. I've had to get all formal now, stipulate the meaning of the notes in full. The issuer promises to redeem this note for one punch in the face. That sort of thing. Yeah, that's the one. I'm thinking of calling them pound notes. You seem a likely candidate to ask. What do you know about heroes? Heroes? Well, let me see. I think I killed a few the other day. Well, I say I killed, I just do the holes. They usually die all by themselves. No point blaming me. Well, about these heroes? Always muscular types. Always got moustaches. Moustaches, eh? Oh, yeah. But your real hero, your actual predestined hero, he's usually got the marks of some kind of destiny actually on him. What? You mean he comes born with them or something? Well, there's your birthmark, you know, marking him as hidden heir to the throne. Then there's the magical sword left in the stepfather's keeping. A magical sword, eh? Well, you can always tell a real hero. They have a sword that goes ting. Ting? Yes, it's all part of the act. Look, I'd really appreciate some help with this rotten dragon. You don't think you could like... Yes? Help? I mean, if, if it's not too much trouble, pardon me for asking and all. Well, I don't really think I can. Oh, look, why, for Offler's sake? Well, it's the flames, you see. The goddess Mothra kind of requires us to dance around them and then smack our heads against the wall. It's a very well-regarded ritual. Oh, really? Yeah. What with the dragon flame aspect of things, I can't see as I'd be much help. Look, don't they have any other gods out there in the hublands that you can worship? Well, there is Frigamum, the snow god. Fine. Well, why don't you switch to worshipping him, then? What? Would you want to walk around in the frost in this outfit? You have a point there, you know. Possibly too. Well, goodbye. Sweet it all. Hey, so good to see you. You're looking swell. Oh, well, thank you very much. Now sit down and shut up. Good feeling. Whoop, whoop. Oh, this is terrible. Next, if I need a monkey, I'll let you know. Hello again. You're the troll, right? Flint. Eh? My name's Flint. My manager picked it for me. He thought it was more suave name for the clickies. If you want to audition these days, you got to be suave. Ah, pieces of eight, pieces of eight. Look, I am your father. It's not got any better, has it? Not really. But just think of all the savings they could make on hiring extras. What sort of role are you looking for? A hero. That's why I've grown the moustache. You have to have a black moustache if you're going to be a hero. That moustache is made out of lichen, isn't it? Well, I was in a hurry. Anyway, I don't grow beard bits very well. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Bye. Hey. So good to see you. You're looking swell. Oh, well, thank you very much. Now sit down and shut up.
Arms for the poor, sir. Oh, no. This time you've gone too far. I do have status now, sir. Is it helping business? Oh, yes, sir. The money's just rolling in. Aren't you afraid someone will take it? No, sir. No one would attack an unarmed man. You're a loony. Oh, for heaven's sake. How did he get the second arm off? Wasn't easy, sir. Wasn't easy? It's a damn miracle. That's not quite what I meant. But, sir, there's a fortune to be made in the limb loss market these days. How? It saves on housing, sir. I don't need high ceilings anymore. You don't need doorknobs either. There you are, sir. Now you're getting the idea. Look, just don't cut anything else off. Um, well, actually, sir... I just don't want to hear about it. Right, you are then. That doesn't work. Here, why are the straps attached to these armrests? That doesn't work. Oh, let's not be silly. Oh. Well, if times ever get hard, at least he can masquerade as one of the stock. magic carpet's got little bugs living in it. The old magic markings on the snake trick. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. I don't care what the user manual says, I'm not doing it! Nope! I can't shift it! A street lamp. A sure sign that civilization is ever creeping up on us. Probably against its will, though. Now there's something you don't see every day, a purple stuffed donkey kind of thing of me. Ah, looks like a prime paste blanc extraordinaire to me. Good body, but a bit fruity for my taste. That doesn't work. Greeting, shopkeeper. Good day, sir. Can I interest you in our toys? There's today's special, an amusing line of bells and whistles. Or there's Violent Bob, the doll with a face you can rip clean off. Eh? It's very therapeutic. I'm sure. The sort of thing you can share with your brothers. Brothers of evil, walking arm in arm across the rooftops of the world. Are you all right? Pardon? Oh, yes, yes. Never felt better. So, can I help you at all, sir? Anything special catch your eye? Oh, just browsing. Browsing? Yes. Not... not plotting? Definitely not. Not secretly planning the overthrow of the patrician and the total dominance of the city? No, no, not at all. Oh, damn. Right you are, sir. 
wows away. Special today, sweet pretty pony home abattoir set. Somehow I don't think it'll catch on. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. I can't read this, it's all covered with mud. At least I hope that's mud. Winnie if you love dragons. Lady Rampkin's Sunnyvale Dragon Sanctuary. I can't read this, it's all covered with mud. At least I hope that's mud. I can't read this, it's all covered with mud. At least I hope that's mud. I say, this poor beast looks under the weather. Lady Ramkin's Dragon Sanctuary. Brimstone deliveries at the rear. Well, I suppose when you're this rich, garden gnomes are just too passe. I'm just feeding my little darlings now. Do come around the back. Oh, hello again. You're at the hairdressers. I'm Lady Ramkin. Do mind the doo-doos. Eh? Well, if you don't, the doo does what it does. It does? What does it do? Well, it does the dirty. The doo-doos, I mean. It can be dodgy, ducking doo-doos. If there's any carbon on your feet, you could be history. And 
Dragon geography? Dragon droppings are rather unstable, even explosive. That's what the boots are for. Can't go tracking this sort of thing in the house. It eats through the rugs and the foundations, actually. Oh, yes, yes. I'll be careful. Some sort of constable, are you? Eh? Well, your hat. It's very grand. Officer's issue, I suppose. Um, no, not exactly. I'm... I'm a wizard. Ah, sorry. I'm afraid I don't have much to do with men. Dragon fancier, are you? Run that bit about men past me again. Oh, well, I've just never... There's never... Well, dragons have taken up most of my time, really. I've never really got the hang of... Well, you know, boys and everything. Let's not mention dragons. I've had a bad day. What on earth was that bang? Oh no, there goes another one. Poor little mite. He was one of my best breeders too. There he goes. Off. He's gone off. It's the flames, you see. It's all in the digestion. The more combustible the food they eat, the more powerful the flame. Really? Now and then one of the little beggars overdoes it and sets himself off. Rather nasty, really. Uh. Dragon innards are so hard to shift from the ceiling. Do they all explode? Well, what they're trying to do is modify their digestion to create hotter flames. If they could only approach evolution more scientifically, they might do better. As it is, the species needs an awful lot of looking after. Is a self-detonating, toxic, defecating house pet really going to catch on? Well, there's the excitement of breeding, pedigree lines and all. Yeah, and you can watch them all blow up afterwards. Yes, it's hard. You get so fond of them. I give the members of one family line the same name, and then just attach a number on the end. It makes it less heart-wrenching to lose one, then. That was Mambo the 15th who just detonated now. Sadly, his son is a bit of a disappointment. Oh? Yes, he's a runt. Mambo the 16th will probably never survive to breed. He's too small to fly, and dragons mate on the wing, don't you know? Still, he's a romantic little soul, a real charmer to the ladies. Ladies? Well, lady dragons. He's always doing little mating dances, quite the little show-off, really. Dragons? Where? All around you, young man. Swamp dragons. The only kind of dragon that normally exists, of course. They're quite lovable. Are you a member of the Dragon Protection Society? Protection Society? My dear woman, there's a dragon out there that is bent on burning this whole city to the ground. Yes, poor thing. It's usually the owner's fault, you know. Well, I'll catch you later, then. I can't shift it. Yes, I won that at last year's Swamp Dragon Breeders Show. Poor old Reginald Lampwick Ponchinbury the Third. He just up and exploded with excitement at the time. Pity, really. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Good grief, it's sizzling! That doesn't work. Yes. Well, it's all right if you go for that pre-patrician opulence.
Lovely weather we're having. Ooh. Well, it, it could be worse. It could be raining cats and cats and. Uh, oh God, I've forgotten the word now. Cats and uh, cat, cats and. Whoa! Uh, no, cats. Oh, don't rush me. Cats and cats and uh, Ooh. dogs. That's it. Dogs. <laughs> you know, I bet you thought I was never going to make it through that without saying monkey. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Look, haven't you got a comb or something? Ooh! Well, I mean, if you are going to insist on running a major library, you should try to smarten yourself up a bit. You know, ape your bitters. Ooh! No, you can't catch me out there. I was too smart for you that time. I said ape, not monkey. Oh, blast! Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Excuse me, do you have the book Recoglimento's Never Failing Guide to Dragon Summonation? I see. Yes. Uh, yes, I suppose so. Mm -hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? Well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? No, I'll come back and get a book later. Whoop! Whoop, whoop! Yes, I've given up. No, no not given, monkey. Hey! Oh, damn! Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Hey there, old mollusk. What can you tell me about L space? Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, I see. Hmm. So what you're saying is that L space is a means of time travel available only to librarians, which is essentially too complex a subject to convey with hand gestures and grunts. Yes, I thought so. But look, if I did have to go into L space, say, to go back to another time, you could help me? Hmm. This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Excuse me, do you have the book Recoglimento's Never Failing Guide to Dragon Summonation? Oh, stolen? But that's... that's... Oh, exactly! That... that doesn't... That doesn't work.
That doesn't work. Amazing what the home decorator can do with a few rags, a few scraps of wood and a couple of hundred parasitic insects. What's this then? House of Negotiable Affection? Isn't that nice? Such a hero! A hero? Wow! How do I attract a dragon? If I were you, I'd wear camouflage. <laughs> All heroes do. Heroes wear camouflage? I think it's a sort of perfume. You probably can get it from wherever you get your dresses. That doesn't work. What? What are you doing just standing there? Go out and kill that dragon! Him? Him kill dragons? Ha ha! Don't make me wheeze! In my day, we had heroes to deal with dragons. Big fellas with swollen pectorals. At least I think that's what they were called. Heroes aren't so important. I still reckon this youngster over here could kill a dragon if he really had to. Him? Ha! Huh. It'd have to be a million to one chance. What can you tell me about heroes? Heroes? Ha! Huh. Well, I can tell a hero a mile off. They've always got a magical talisman on them. It's like when you go to a fair. What? And win it? Uh, oh, no, no, not a fair. Uh, a, a, a fate! A fate! That's it! You aren't fated to be a hero unless you can find a magical talisman. Right, you are then. This hat is certainly more impressive than mine. Hey, there's something inside. Spatula.
I can't shift it. No, I can't shift it. already have one of those. Clatchium cactus juice with something wriggling inside. That doesn't work. Barky, a drink. Clatchium cactus juice. Hang on sir, I'll just have a look. Mm. 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 Yes? Sorry sir, just increasing the dramatic tension. Characteristic scent of turpentine, crushed cockroaches and recycled beer. This must lead to the wine cellar. Ah, yes. Standard gleaming white eyes, probably attached to a standard black shaggy monster. I wonder if it'd help if I sang about my favourite things. Luggage! <laughs> yeah, luggage! Hmm. Can ambulatory furniture actually catch fleas? Maybe it's woodworm. I really ought to give him a bath or something, I suppose. I wonder if varnishing would help. Thank you. 
That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Yes, this sock seems hauntingly familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on why. Hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Right, give me the password and I'll let you in. Oh, all right. Ah, let's see now. It's blah, 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 spoons, blah, 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 swordfish, blah, blah, blah. Right? No. Hey, you didn't say Simon Says. Oh. Simon Says. Okay. Welcome, or oh fellow brother of the elucidated brethren of the storm. Quite a good aroma to this love potion custard tart. Look, we're not listening. Look, we're not listening. We're not listening. That doesn't work.
that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Just the ticket if I had a fishing rod. Ah, now don't tell me, it's purple and has 100 eyes. Am I close? <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights? Whew. Well, at least it's nice and warm and soft out here. How do I get out of this... place? No, no, forget that last statement. How do I get to stay here? That's cheating. Uh, what? That's cheating. You can't do that. Put that rotten thing away. It's not cheating. It's just enriching the storyline. Yes, it's in the rules. It isn't. Yeah, I'm sure it is. You can be quiet too, Mr. Handbag Face. And if you try to swap dice on me one more time, I shall do to your black monks what the Prophet Dundas did to the tribe of the Extralites. With both thumbs. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, but what is that? What? Uh, there. The little pointy-headed thing. Uh, you've got a little piece hidden down your cleavage. Oh, goodness me. I wonder how that got there. Uh, put, it, put it back. I haven't had any fun with that one yet. Wait till it meets my monk this time. Oh, just get on with the game. you are. <sighs> She's forgotten about me. If only she would come. Persistent little blighter, isn't he? doesn't work. That doesn't work.
doesn't work. I was just wondering... What is it now? Don't listen! Well, it's about this leecho suction thing. Are you going to pay the balance you owe or what? What leecho suction? Our patented new fat removal system. Your friend here put a down payment on for a treatment for your wife and we need to collect the balance. You backstabbing little... Don't listen. It's a lie, just like all the other times. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, thanks, pal. Uh, no offence. No, no, none taken. Oh, good. So do you want this leecho suction or what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Clearly I'm dealing with inferior intellects, which is quite hard to do in my case. Yes, thank you, Mother. Are you standing for this new tax? It does seem a trifle harsh. How can I make progress up the social ladder if I get it in the neck? Yeah, it's hard to get ahead without a head. Have your actual robbers of pan-fried bread goods. I'll just let you get on with it then, shall I? It's crinimal. That's what it is, crinimal. Right. Right you are then. I'll just stand over here. Don't mind me. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Right, that's it. Poker man in the ribs, let's see how you do without it. Oh, all right. You can have it back if you promise to use it wisely. <laughs> Hello, who's this? The damn thing's occupied. Hey, ho. What in Offler's name are you doing here? Slumming. Or shall I release you? No, oh, no. The quota system's gone all to hell, so we're working on something new, pre-serving our prison time. You see, the average thief's prison sentence is about two years, but only one in ten thieves actually gets caught. Therefore, if we all spend 2.4 months in jail, that clears everybody of their social debt. It's all very logical, you see. Patrician's idea. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So, um, how's about this weather, then? Yes, I thought it was extraordinary myself. Apparently, a high-low pressure system has been moving left across the river valley, combined with a counterclockwise humidity layer caused by the internal combustion of tree roots. Ah, yeah, exactly. Hello, who's this? The damn thing's occupied. Stealing all the gold in the kingdom, they said. Pardon? All the gold in the kingdom, it was given to me. Likely story. That doesn't work. Eyes. Hmm. Perhaps we best not pursue this any further. Always a pleasure to see a familiar face. Oh, oh no! Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! And here, just look what they've got pinned onto my lapel. Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Ah, yes, hello. Um, so, uh, you're a torturer, then? Please, sir, we professionals within the industry prefer the term information extraction technician. A little nicety, sir, that marks an otherwise very old and dignified profession. 
Always does well to take pride in one's new line of work, sir. So you're new at the job, then? Well, more like a promotion, really. I started off as a tax collector, and it's all the same department. Really? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Hey, don't I know you? No. Oh. You! You're one of them! Little darts with scales and big long tails and... What? I'm not! I've never even seen you before. Even if they did throw you in the stocks. Ooh, and someone might have been throwing tomatoes at you, but it, it wasn't me. Ah, oh, right, well, good. Because I'll tell you what, I'd have been ever so cross if you had been. Anyway, can I help you with anything, sir? A bit of torture on account? Something off the ears? Uh, no, nah, no, no, thanks. Just, uh, I'm just window shopping. <laughs> Aha, now this is interesting. Oh. Um, sorry about that. Hmm, not much meat on it. I, I already have one of those. You know, it's rather hard to find a decent back scratcher these days. That doesn't work. doesn't work. doesn't work. That doesn't work.
doesn't work. That doesn't work. Nice sturdy wood they use in these. Nice sturdy wood they use in these. That doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. doesn't work. Oh, chucky, chucky, chucky. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Ah! Nice sturdy wood they use in these. Stealing all the gold in the kingdom, they said. Pardon? All the gold. Likely story. That doesn't work. Well, I suppose neither of you wants to see... That's right. Oh, wait a minute. See what? Well, I just wondered what you gentlemen might make out of this. It's a chocolate blancmange. No, no, it's... It's hauntingly familiar, though. Uh, not a... Not a hippo, is it? Hmm? Uh, no, 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 not a hippo. Uh, a lard pudding? Suet? I know. It's your wife. My wife is not fat.
melting. Oh, I'm melting. And your little dog too. <laughs> A sword that goes ploink. That sword's out of tune, that is. You want to take it to a dwarf, mate. They know all about tuning up swords. doesn't work. Diploma from the Academy of Barbering, Bloodletting, Leechery, Tooth Pulling and Associated Self-Mutilations Academy. Our first customer. I wonder if he was the last. Funny sort of appointment book. Nice big pages though. Yes, still fails to create that relaxing atmosphere, though. Let's just keep... I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. I already have one of those. Not much meat on it, but plenty of glue to go round. You're all warriors. Warriors, what I must say. So, do you know anything about swords? Not me. You can get hurt with swords. I know. 
Not for a real sword, see? You've got to go and get a dwarfish sword. They're the only ones who know how to tune them properly. Tune them, eh? Hmm. Try the mines if you're looking for dwarves. They'll do you a favour. Ahem. <clears throat> right. Any friend of mine's is a friend of theirs. <laughs> Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. Abandon all hops, ye who enter here, by order of Dwarven Women's Temperance League. Abandon all hops, by order of Dwarven... That doesn't work. It's nothing like that fine Dwarven engineering. Actually, this is nothing like fine Dwarven engineering. Who's responsible for building this junk? Excuse me, are you a Dwarven Smith? No, I'm Dwarven Llewellyn. Dwarven Smith is over there. So you're definitely not a Dwarven Smith then? No, I'm a miner. What, underage? Yeah, I'm only 137. They won't even let me into pubs yet. What's it like being a Dwarven miner? Well, I just dig, dig, dig the old day through, apparently. Just that? The hours are long, but the food's not bad. Plus, there's the Wandering Princess Allowance. Oh, really? Excuse me, sir. Yes? What is it? I haven't got all day. We dwarf and sword smiths lead a busy life. Excuse me, sir. Yes? What is it? I haven't got all day. We dwarf and sword smiths lead a busy life. Swordsmith? Yes. As in your actual maker and tuner of magical swords? Ah, that's the one. Hmm. Well, would you tune up this sword for me? Yes. Will right now be soon enough for you? Look, you're sure you're a dwarven swordsmith? What do you mean? Well, aren't you going to tell me that you won't do the task until I find some obscure item from somewhere? Why? Well, it's traditional. Nothing's easy for adventurers. There's always just one more object to collect. Well, if you want it that way, I suppose. All right, go. And return only when you have brought me... <laughs> A glass of elderberry wine. That's it. Complete your quest, and then return. How was that? Oh, marvellous. I can't thank you enough. Any time. Lo, behold the majesty of those tall, pointy stone things. Thank you. 
That doesn't work. Someone's left a potato in here. I always wanted one of those. Old Uncle Benjamin. Old Uncle Benjamin's patent stain remover. Old Uncle Benjamin's patent embalming fluid. A tankard of wine. Uh, I, I can't, sir. The cellar's full of uh, thingies. Uh, what are they called? You know, furry blighters with the tails. Foxes? That's it, foxes. Hundreds of them, all squeaking and eating cheese. Oh, we've got a plague of foxes in our cellar. doesn't work. Pesky little blighters, these imps. Quite a handy wooden crank, this. Funny sort of appointment book. Nice big pages, though. Very stylish styling scissors.
What an odd expression. Very wooden. Look, um, sorry about all that stuff I said before. What? Well, you know, sorry about being a Matalo and all that. You see, it wasn't really me, it was this talking dog over here. If you were really sorry about all those things you said before, you'd buy me a drink. Ah, oh, look, would you have another round? Oh, <laughs> thanks, chub. I'll have a glass of milk, please. Milk? Oi, milk from the venomous she-bats of Ree, served in a dirty glass. Ah. I thought so. It's good for my stress. You see, I mess my Polly. <laughs> A glass of milk, please. Certainly, sir. I've not seen you somewhere before. My twin brother runs the mended drum. Oh, good looks must run in the family. No, nope, I can't shift it. Poetic, isn't it? So, uh, you're a pirate then, are you? No, pal. Just a sailor now. Just a sailor since my Polly went away. <laughs> oh, my Polly. Right, well, you've got your drink now, so why don't you fill me in on some sort of useful information? Useful information? Well, that's the drill, isn't it? I go into a random bar, I find the one person who seems to be reluctant to talk to me, I buy them a drink, and they tell me something. Something like what? Well, adventure-oriented, preferably. Oh, well, if it's adventure you want, then here's the tale about the time when I was shipwrecked on the Isle of the scantily clad, rather well-manicured Amazon women. Oh, no! Oh, there I was, alone with the creatures. Oh, they were so good, they were gorgeous. You wanted to see your teeth in them. Oh, the creatures, they were sent down from heaven. I drank them like nectar. Arr. Oh, let me, and then she said, oh, let me know, slithering, oh, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, clawing, or, and then, and my, oh, and then, and then we had some tea. Here. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Very suspicious looking dog, that. Can't shift it. Nope, I can't shift it. There's something lurking behind it. There's Who's <laughs> Hello? Hello, is anybody there? Look, there is someone there. I can see bits of you poking out behind the door. What are you doing back there? Go away. I'm the bogeyman. Really? I'll give you a fright you'll never forget. Look, just come out from behind the door. I... I can't. I'm afraid of open spaces. An agoraphobic bogeyman? Lay off. It's no fun being a legendary figure of terror. What does a bogeyman do, anyway? It's quite a hard job being a traditional figure of terror. Long hours and no real holidays. Really? Well, there's the good side, too. There's your place in folk tale and legend. And you're your own boss. Get out from behind that door. I want my mum. So, um... 
What does a bogeyman do, actually? We have a highly valued traditional community role. What, frightening children into eating their greens? Serving as formless objects of folk terror, that sort of thing? Yes. Yes, that's it. Then there's your special commissions. One time, these wizards tried locking a cat inside a box and opening it up every now and then to see whether the cat had died. My father frightened one of the old geezers to death when he jumped out of the box instead. I think I've heard of that. It added an extra complication to the principle of uncertainty. Made random charts seem a bit more random than anyone supposed. It was all death's doing, of course. A subcontract job. You're not really a bogeyman. I am too. Go on, let's see you then. I'll come out. I'll come out and you'll get such a shock. All right then. All right what? All right, come out and scare me. Well, you're ready for it now. I mean, it's not a shock if you're expecting it. So, you're saying your effectiveness as a legendary figure of terror is entirely due to my not knowing exactly what you are or when you will appear? Um, well, maybe. In which case, you should change your name to something more appealing, you know, to heighten the shock effect. Such as... Cyril. Cyril? That's no name for a bogeyman. Heightens the surprise effect, though. You're right there. Hmm. Cyril the bogeyman. Coming out from behind the door now? No. Why are you hiding behind that door? It's a metaphor. Not a door? A metaphor for my own insecurity. You see, not only does it provide a screen between myself and the outside world, but it is also a portal, an openable space, implying the possibility of future liberation from my phobia. Quite a powerful image, really. Oh, stop snivelling. I thought you were a grown monster. Whatever would your mother say? Mother! Oh, Mother! My mother would never take me to the zoo, you know. Really? Would you get a lie on a couch, by the way? Oh, no. The door's quite comfortable, thank you. Anyway, I asked her, and she'd never take me. Have you ever thought of seeing a psychiatricist about this problem? Oh, no. I mean, that's for sick people. Yes, quite. Tell me about your mother. Well... The zoo's important to a young bogeyman, you know. All part of a basic education. It's not easy scaring people, you see. Takes a lifetime of dedication. You have to start small and kind of work up to human beings. As in, terrify some lower orders of life, then shift up to people once you've got the neck. That's it. That's what you have to do. Ah. Well, I think I can help you there. I can find you some foxes. Foxes? Sorry, I meant mice. Anyway, I can find you a few if you like, and you can try scaring those. They're not big mice, are they? I, I don't think so. I mean, those ones that jump can't bear it when they jump. Well, you just come along and we'll find you some ones that don't jump. Well, it's a good idea, but I'm afraid I just can't leave my door. Oh, good grief. Why? Well, it's a symbol, you see. A representation of my inner belief that I'm not yet ready to face a possibly hostile world. Are you sure you've never been to a psychiatricist? Well, goodbye. Who's there? Hello? Hello, is anybody- Look, there is- What are you doing? Go. Really? Uh, Look. I- An agoraphobic- Lay off. It's no- What does a bogey mean? It's- Really? Well, there's- Get out. I... So, um... What does a bogey mean? We have- What? From... Yeah, then there's one time. My- I think I've heard it added an extra- Made random chart. It was all- Well. Goodbye. something lurking behind it.
I already have one of those. Yes, well, it's a forbidding door, all right. Still looks like dry grass to me. That, please, don't stare. I'm, I'm not. This is all covered with mud. At least I hope that's mud. This is all covered with mud. At least I hope that's mud. Who's there? Hello? Hello, is anybody there? Look, there is someone there. I can see bits of you poking out behind the door. What are you doing back there? Go away. I really? I'll give you a fright you'll never forget. Look, just come out from behind the door. I... I can't. I'm afraid of open spaces. An agoraphobic bogeyman? Lay off. It's no fun being a legendary figure of terror. What does a bogeyman do, anyway? It's quite a hard job being a traditional figure of terror. Long hours and no real holidays. Really? Well, there's the good side, too. There's your place in folk tale and legend. And you're your own boss. Get out from behind that door. I want my mum. So, um... What does a bogeyman do, actually? We have a highly valued traditional community role. What, frightening children into eating their greens? Serving as formless objects of folk terror, that sort of thing? Yes. 
Yes, that's it. Then there's your special commissions. One time, these wizards tried locking a cat inside a box and opening it up every now and then to see whether the cat had died. My father frightened one of the old geezers to death when he jumped out of the box instead. I think I've heard of that. It added an extra complication to the principle of uncertainty. Made random charts seem a bit more random than anyone supposed. It was all death's doing, of course. A subcontract job. You're not really a bogeyman. I am too. Go on, let's see you then. I'll come out. I'll come out and you'll get such a shock. All right then. All right what? All right, come out and scare me. Well, you're ready for it now. I mean, it's not a shock if you're expecting it. So, you're saying your effectiveness as a legendary figure of terror is entirely due to my not knowing exactly what you are or when you will appear. Um, well, maybe. In which case, you should change your name to something more appealing, you know, to heighten the shock effect. Such as... Cyril. Cyril? That's no name for a bogeyman. Heightens the surprise effect, though. You're right there. Hmm. Cyril the bogeyman. Coming out from behind the door now? No. Why are you hiding behind that door? It's a metaphor. Not a door? A metaphor for my own insecurity. You see, not only does it provide a screen between myself and the outside world, but it is also a portal, an openable space, implying the possibility of future liberation from my phobia. Quite a powerful image, really. Oh, stop snivelling. I thought you were a grown monster. Whatever would your mother say? Mother! Oh, Mother! My mother would never take me to the zoo, you know. Really? Would you get a lie on a couch, by the way? Oh, no. The door's quite comfortable, thank you. Anyway, I asked her, and she'd never take me. Have you ever thought of seeing a psychiatricist about this problem? Oh, no. I mean, that's for sick people. Yes, quite. Tell me about your mother. Well... The zoo's important to a young bogeyman, you know. All part of a basic education. It's not easy scaring people, you see. Takes a lifetime of dedication. You have to start small and kind of work up to human beings. As in, terrify some lower orders of life, then shift up to people once you've got the neck. That's it. That's what you have to do. Ah. Well, I think I can help you there. I can find you some foxes. Foxes? Sorry, I meant mice. Anyway, I can find you a few if you like, and you can try scaring those. They're not big mice, are they? I, I don't think so. I mean, those ones that jump can't bear it when they jump. Well, you just come along and we'll find you some ones that don't jump. I haven't seen you somewhere before. My twin brother runs the Mendy Drum. Oh, good looks must run in the family. So, uh... No, pal. Just a sailor, no. Just a sailor. Right! You Well, that's the I find the one. I buy them in something like... Well... Oh, well, then here... Oh. Uh. Oh, there I was. And... Oh, and... So, uh, right. well, I'm up. Well, oh, what the here? Uh. Oh, there I was. Oh, let me. And then she slung over me, no slithering, no. And I was running like a claw in her. And I got my. And then we had some tea. Nope. I can't shift it. Nope. Thank heavens, it's a tattoo. I thought it looked a bit flashy just for a birthmark.
Did you get the number of that donkey cart? <laughs> Hello again. So, how did we do? Well, he put up quite a fight, but I think I finally got him. A terrible fight? Well, yes, quite ferocious. Ferocious? How? How does a half-starved rodent of the order Mus Domesticus manage to almost overpower a full-grown bogeyman? He squeaked at me. Squeaked? Just squeaked? Well, it was the way he squeaked. Puts the wind up you, you know. Mouse bites can infect. I read it somewhere. Some fella's arm rotted clean off. You can't be infected. You're a legendary figure of terror. Still, best not take any chances. Yeah, right. You don't think he's going to come round again, do you? That doesn't work. That doesn't work. A tankard of wine. At least it looks like wine. I wonder why it's pitting the metal in the tankard. That doesn't work. Ho, ho and ha. What it is to laugh. Ho, ho and ha. What it is to laugh. Ho, ho and ha. What it is to laugh. Ho, ho and ha. What it is to laugh. That doesn't work. One tankard, Brumeldium bladderbuster sized. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Thank you. 
Excuse me, sir. Yes? What is it? We haven't got all day. We dwarf and swordsmiths lead a busy life. Hmm. Well, would you tune up this sword for me? A sword that goes ting! Can't shift it. So, uh, you're a pirate then, are you? No, pal. Just a sailor now. Just a sailor since my Polly went away. <laughs> oh, my Polly. Right. Well, you've got your drink now, so why don't you fill me in on some sort of useful information? Useful information? Well, that's the drill, isn't it? I go into a random bar, I find the one person who seems to be reluctant to talk to me, I buy them a drink, and they tell me something. Something like what? Well, adventure-oriented, preferably. Oh, well, if it's adventure you want, then here's the tale about the time when I was shipwrecked on the Isle of the scantily clad, rather well-manicured Amazon women. Oh, no! Oh, there I was, alone with the creatures, oh, they were suckling, they were gorgeous, you wanted to sink your teeth in them. Oh, the creatures, they were sent down from heaven, I drank them like nectar. Ah. Oh, let me, and then she said, oh, let me know, slithering, oh, and you know, and he's going to her claw in her, and my, and my, oh, and, her, ah. and then we had some tea. Excuse me, sir, but I've been admiring your tattoos. Oh, fine stuff, eh? This one here, you seen this one? Hmm, that's a birthmark, isn't it? Oh, yeah, so it is. Well, 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 check out this one then. Oh, I lost eight points of blood getting this one. It says, Mother. No, it says, Mother. Oh, well, I, I, I'm a victim of low educational standards. It's the thought that counts. Why have you got a birthmark shaped like a crown? No idea, old son. There's one shaped like a humorous pig, too. Only I can't show you that one unless I get to know you a lot better. So where do you get tattoos? I can't tell you. I miss my Polly so I can't concentrate on anything till I find my Polly. Look, you've been a smashing listener. If you ever can, please go and find my Polly. Here's a whistle. It's his little parrot call. Whatever you do, don't ever lose it. I can't talk without my Polly. <laughs> I'll wear this around my neck. I won't lose it. I've not seen you somewhere before. My twin brother runs the mended drum. Oh, good looks must run in the family.
Oh, let me do it. That doesn't work. This is all covered with mud. At least I hope that's mud. I can't read this. It's all covered with mud. At least I hope that's mud. I can't read. At least I hope. I can't read. At least I hope that's mud. doesn't work. I say, I say, this poor beast looks under the weather. That doesn't work. 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 The old magic markings on the magically stiff and extremely long snake trick. Hm. It's even got a knob on the end. I already have one of those. That... Now this could be a handy extension handle. That doesn't work. Now this could be a handy extension handle. Thank you. 
Yes, I won that at last year's Swamp Dragon Breeders Show. Poor old Reginald Lampwick Ponchinbury the Third. He just up and exploded with excitement at the time. Pity, really. Yes, I won that at last year's Swamp Dragon Breeders. Poor old Reginald Lampwick Ponchinbury the Third. He just up and exploded with excitement at the time. Pity, really. Just feeding my little darlings now. Do come around the back. Mambo the 16th, quite a chubby little chap, aren't you? Nigel Hawthorne Rampshire the 8th. Randolph Bloomington Horrogate the 11th. Oops, make that the 10th. Tecumseh Farrogut the 9th.
there you are! <sighs> She's forgotten about me. If only she would come! That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That... That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That... 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 I'll hang on to this myself. Perhaps it's time I sang about my favourite things. That doesn't... Eek. Is it much of a living being a witch? Actually, business hasn't been going all that well. I've lost my custard making book and I used to sell the most irresistible custard. Really? Well, it was a bit of a cheat. I used to put love potion in the custard. You couldn't help but fall in love with it. So the book's gone. Why don't you try looking in the library? You're such a thoughtful little man. Now come over here and sit on your old nanny's trick knee. Eek. Let's not do something we'll regret, shall we? How about a kiss for old nanny? Eek! Madam, try not to remember who you are. Somehow, I didn't think your hobby would be knitting. Ooh, I'm a devil for it. It's pretty hard to do, though. My cat, Grebo, keeps playing with the wool, the little scamp. Be careful if you go near him. He's not very happy about men in dresses. It's not a dress. It's a robe of occult power. It's got sequins. I happen to like sequins. They happen to give a very nice occult sparkle, all right? Madam, control yourself. I'm an accredited wizard. Well, you know what they say about men with big hats? I, d I don't want... Really? What is it they say? They've got big heads. Oh. Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That 
That doesn't work. Hmm. Empty. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Nothing to be scared of here. Hmm. Now, why wasn't I given one of these things all along? That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Here! This camera even has a little veranda and an easel for the imp. Hmm. Empty. That doesn't work. Hmm. What do we have here? Nanny Ogg's patent lie remover. Removes unsightly untruths, leaving behind just the odd white lie. Nanny Ogg's inheritance accelerator. Why wait for the rest of their life? Nanny Ogg's special corn remover and passion potion. Must be for those with a foot fetish. Watch out, dearie. Eek. Oh. It's my special truth potion. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, could I borrow some? I'll only let you have some in return for a kiss. And this time, I'll be keeping my eyes open, so I will. Oh. No. Hmm. What do we have next? Leaving me. Nanny, why wait for the that 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 doesn't work. Watch out, dearie. Eek. Ah, about your patented lie remover potion. It's my special truth potion. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, could I borrow some? I'll only let you have some in return for a kiss, and this time I'll be keeping my eyes open, so I will. No. Oh, let's not be silly. I think I might be physically ill. Don't move. Don't move suddenly. She can smell fear a mile away. Don't look. Just keep calm and everything's going to be okay. Watch out, dearie. Eek. Oh. It's my special truth potion. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, could I borrow some? I'll only let you have some in return for a kiss. And this time, I'll be keeping my eyes open, so I will. Oh. No. <laughs> my, my. Ah, about the tr 
truth potion? Here, take it. Oh, my, my. Quite a good aroma to this love potion custard tart. Actually, some of these herbs seem to be looking back. That doesn't work. Stop that bird! Polly wanna cracker! Polly, you come back to... Here, wait a minute. Where's that whistle, then? Look, it's just a little accident, sorry. An accident? My whistle? It just sort of fell off the world. Anyway, I got your parrot back. But my whistle! My handcrafted Oblander parrot calling whistle! My mother gave that to me! Oh, how can I concentrate now that I know the last keepsake of my old dead mother has gone from the world? Right, right, I'll... I'll go fetch the whistle then, shall I? That doesn't work. 
That doesn't work. That doesn't... catching all the fish that go over the edge. That doesn't work. 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 I knew this game would drive me over it eventually. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Hello. Nice day for it. Yes, um, nice day for what? For whatever you're planning to do. So, so you mean I'm destined to fail after all? You're here to collect my soul, thus ending the quest and demonstrating the futility of all human endeavour. No, I'm just having a break. Oh, sorry. I shall see you later on, but I won't tell you what's going to happen, because I don't want to spoil your day. You're, you're a busy, a uh, busy, um, man. There's no need to disrupt your schedules on my account. Oh, I enjoy it. See you at the city square, then. Oops. Sorry. It slipped out. Forget I said it. Great Atui is referred to as an it as opposed to a he or a she, simply because its sex is undetermined. shift it. I wonder what they eat. My beautiful Polly and my lovely whistle. Oh, how can I repay you? Just tell me how to get a tattoo. Go to the barber shop, of course.
Here, why are the straps attached to these armrests? forgotten about me. If only she would come. Yes, listen, about these tattoos. I can't even think about that now. I've lost her. Sweetie doll. Hey. So good to see you. You're looking swell. Oh, well, thank you very much. Now sit down and shut up. I'm going to be a star, you know. Sorry? I'm auditioning. It's for the star role in the new clicky Trolls Prefer Blondes. It's terribly modern. Why has your bust line gotten bigger? Silicone implants, I think they're called. Silicone? Yes. Some cone-shaped bits chipped off that insane troll beside me. I stuffed them down my front. My agent thought it would be a good idea. You're keeping abreast of the competition, so to speak. So, how did you get an audition? Just stay in line like me. It's ever so much fun. I'm terribly excited about this casting couch idea. Really? Oh, yes. Because I love fishing. I think I need a good lie down. Oh, do you want to go on the couch as well? Uh, not if I can possibly avoid it, no. Oh, so would you like my autograph? You what? Well, it's like a name on a bit of paper. My agent Otto thought it up. See? Autograph. He says it'll be worth a lot of money one day. Really? Oh, yes. Especially if you use expensive paper. If you bring me something to write on, I can give one to you. That's very considerate of you. Next! Next! Ah! Uh, come in! So, you want to play a hero, yeah? A hero? Well, this is to be a hero's role. Just say your lines and we'll see if we can't get you a screen tape. Lines? All heroes shout something as they pack his traditional just say whatever comes into your head. Um... Hasta la vista, baby? No, 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 no. Here, try this. But this just says... Arg. Hey, that's what all dragon slayers say. Really? Yeah. Just before they fry to a crisp. Come back when you practiced. Now up you go. That doesn't work. All right. Wait. I beg your pardon. Feeling like a bucket of lard, sir? Like the proverbial ambulatory what's name? Whale? Look, what are you selling this time? Just get it over with. It's the Leecho Suction Weight Loss Program, sir. Let me guess. Beauty can... But the leech... What, sir? It drinks... Depends how much blood it takes, sir. It's all here. It says here... That's right. But the truth... Really? Well, I'm cut... I don't need... A Have you... Could cut down on... No, I don't think that's... Well, um... I've got... Here's a potion... But I'm not blind... You see, sir? Oh. You're not fooling anyone, you... Oh, well, sir. Bad. No, thanks. I've had bad experiences with... Hey, 
Eh? Oh, as a virgin, I mean. Have you ever thought about the career possibility? Oh, um... What? Um... Tiddlywinks! Well, the god... Oh, and I'm good at tiddlywinks. Well, goodbye. is all set to be your next appointment. Oh, that's marvellous. I'll be seeing you. You serve as the local tattoo artist, correct? Oh, yes. I'm the best on the disc. All the heroes come to me. <laughs> Blindingly painful mutilations to the discerning gentry. That's me, sir. Here, take a seat and I'll do you now. Now, what style of tattoo are you interested in? And more importantly, what part of your body are we talking about here? <laughs> Those needles, they look pretty pointy. Razor sharp. It's so they can plunge efficiently beneath the flesh, you see. Hmm. Oh, yes. Stabbing into the living tissue, hooking through the skin and spurting ink. Each tattoo needs that to be done thousands of times. Oh, does it hurt? Oh, yes. The pain is quite intense. I've seen grown men turn into whimpering, creeping wrecks by just five minutes under my needles. Anyway. You're a pal, so I'll do one for you right now if you insist. You'll just have to bear with me. I'm too excited to work well. My hands are shaking. Oh, I really hope I don't stab the needles in too deep and then break them off. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Look, um, I think I'll pass for now. Well, in that case, why don't you try one of those newfangled transfer thingamy tattoos? They're made from a special clutchy and squid dye that adheres to your skin for a day or so. Sounds great. Where can I get one? Try my son. He gives them away with bubblegum. Your son? Yes. The little street starfish. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, thanks for that. I'll be off now. Hello, little friend. Lovely bubblegum you have there. Oh, come on, governor. What? Well, obviously you're trying to swindle me out of something. Next thing you'll be trying to trick me into performing some sort of stupid stunt as a diversion. Such as? <laughs> I suppose you were going to get me to blow an incredibly huge bubble and then run off with the goods. Never. I don't think you can blow bubbles much bigger than you have been anyway. Of course I can. Here, watch. Can I hold your bubblegum packet for you? Oh, thanks. This is empty. It comes with a transfer. You don't think I'm going to let you have my transfer? It's collectible. Well, how do you collect a transfer? I mean, you have to put it on your skin. It'll wash off. Wash, Gav? Oh, right. Sorry, I used bad language. Tell me again about the attractions of being a lovable street life stereotype. I'm class background colour, I am, sir. You're about to die. Just give me the damn transfer. Ha! <laughs> Come and get it, pencil head. Ah! Background colour. 
Gad, but there's no expense spared in this place. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Saw ass. That doesn't work. This is what comes of holding low aspirations. DUI? Donkey under influence? Well, I never. Hello. 
that doesn't work. That that doesn't. Yes, yes, a good. Oh dear, I think I'm going to be rather ill. <laughs> Yes, yes, a good example of post-dynastic October rock. Oh dear, I think I'm going to be rather ill. doesn't work. touch the stuff again. doesn't work. That doesn't work.
doesn't work. this good wood this hmm You! What do you think this is? A bar of low decor standards? We only hang pictures of prize winning animals in here, so we do. That doesn't work. You! What do you think this is? A bar of low decor standards? We only hang pictures of prize winning animals in here, so we do. That doesn't work.
God bless you, pal. My mate, my old, old what's his name? Eh, eh, it's you and me against the world, pal. I love to drink with what's his name, cause what's his name's my mate. Hello? 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 Oh, yes. That's it, is it? That's the way you greet the greatest hero of our age? The one, the only, the invincible? You what? I'm important, me. I can't just go around answering any old greeting, you know? Well, how would you prefer? Well, shoving... I'm Flea Bart the Incredible. I fought the ant god of quacks and he doesn't even exist. I've even escaped from the Temple of Offla from... I don't believe a word of this. Huh? Huh? You dare to doubt the greatest hero of our age? I'm known all up and down the river, I am. The river? Yeah. The river Ank? Isn't that a little dangerous? You have to watch out for all the goiters and the yours. Yours? What's yours? Mine's another pint, thanks. Then there was the time I blah, boast blah, blah. Barky, a drink. That doesn't work. Tankard of Truth Potion. Just a thing for those hot summer nights. E gad, look. A picture of the Gold Cup winning rooster of the Clatchian Animal Crooning Competition. May I draw your attention to the picture of the award-winning pig from the Ankmore Port, Port Butcher's Guild Ball? Yes, that certainly is something. But what about that picture of the special merit medallion winning cockatrice from the Wildlife Preservation Society's award ceremony for recently extinct species? None, however, can quite, to my mind, match the magnificence of that blue ribbon winning sheep from the uh, Followers of Offler Sacrificial Lamb competition. Yeah, that was the one. Right, drink up. Ha! Got you at last. Got me? How? But. There's nothing I can tell you. It's... it's all lies. I... I'm a weasel. Nothing but a weasel. A snivelling, no good, lying little we... Yeah, now look. So, just long and brown and lying with words and stuff. Now look you, tell me about the Temple of Ofla. It's in the jungle, over a gorge. Any map will show you. Meet once again, Wormling. Oh no! Yes, tis I. Prepare to meet thy doom. Stop! What's huge and purple and has a hundred eyes? My mother, with perhaps ninety-seven extra eyes. Ninety-seven? Yeah. Good old mum. Oh. Huh. Well, that sort of takes the effect out of that one. Now, have at you! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, look. Little dots. Little dots with scales and big long tails. Once again, Wormling. Oh, no! Yes, tis I. Prepare to meet thy doom. Stop! What's huge and purple and has a hundred eyes? My mother, with perhaps 97 extra eyes. 97? Yeah, good old mum. Oh. Huh. Well, that sort of takes the effect out of that one. Now, have at you! Darts with scales and big long tails. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. I'd rather not see what happens. I'd rather not see what happens. 
That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Nasty. Now that has to hurt. I wonder what happened to those play testers. Devious. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? That doesn't work. A hat and a whip. So that's what happened to him. Temple Restoration Fund. Leave valuables here before entering. I don't like the sound of this. Diabolical. Interesting. Devious. Ah, oh, yes, well, it doesn't look so far away. Deadly looking pathway full of traps, pitfalls and tripwires. That doesn't work. I'd rather not see what happens. That doesn't work. Aha! My trusty luggage! I'd rather not see what happens. That doesn't work. Well, if that thing's supposed to be the size of a pigeon's egg, I'd hate to see the pigeon. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. A sword that goes ting! That doesn't work. This all seems hauntingly familiar. That doesn't work.
That doesn't work. It's nothing like that fine dwarven engineering. Actually, this is nothing like fine dwarven engineering. Who's responsible for building this junk? Excuse me, sir. Yes? What is it? We haven't got all day. We dwarf and sword smiths lead a busy life. That, that doesn't... Stunted little blighters, aren't they? doesn't work. Come on, luggage, we haven't all day. Quite a, quite a trim little cart, that. That's the second largest woman I've ever seen. Oh, hello again. You're at the hairdressers. I'm Lady Ramkin. Do mind the doo-doos. Eh? Well, if you don't, the doo does what it does. It does? What does it do? Well, it does the dirty. The doo-doos, I mean. It can be dodgy, ducking doo-doos. If there's any carbon on your feet, you could be history. And geography. Dragon droppings are rather unstable, even explosive. That's what the boots are for. 
can't go tracking this sort of thing in the house. It eats through the rugs and the foundations, actually. Oh, yes, yes. I'll be careful. Some sort of constable, are you? Eh? Well, your hat. It's very grand. Officer's issue, I suppose. Um, no, not exactly. I'm... Um, I'm a wizard. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm afraid I don't have much to do with men. Dragon fancier, are you? Run that bit about men past me again. Oh, well, I've just never... There's never... Well... Dragons have taken up most of my time, really. I've never really got the hang of... Well, you know, boys and everything. Let's not mention dragons. I've had a bad day. What on earth was that bang? Oh, no, there goes another one. Poor little mite. He was one of my best breeders, too. There he goes. Off. He's gone off. It's the flames, you see. It's all in the digestion. The more combustible the food they eat, the more powerful the flame. Really? Now and then, one of the little beggars overdoes it and sets himself off. Rather nasty, really. Uh... Dragon innards are so hard to shift from the ceiling. Do they all explode? Well, what they're trying to do is modify their digestion to create hotter flames. If they could only approach evolution more scientifically, they might do better. As it is, the species needs an awful lot of looking after. Is a self-detonating, toxic, defecating house pet really going to catch on? Well, there's the excitement of breeding, pedigree lines and all. Yeah, and you can watch them all blow up afterwards. Yes, it's hard. You get so fond of them. I give the members of one family line the same name, and then just attach a number on the end. It makes it less heart-wrenching to lose one, then. That was Mambo the 15th who just detonated now. Sadly, his son is a bit of a disappointment. Oh? Yes, he's a runt. Mambo the 16th will probably never survive to breed. He's too small to fly, and dragons mate on the wing, don't you know? Still, he's a romantic little soul. A real charmer to the ladies. Ladies? Well, lady dragons. He's always doing little mating dances. Quite the little show-off, really. Dragons? Where? All around you, young man. Swamp dragons. The only kind of dragon that normally exists, of course. They're quite lovable. Are you a member of the Dragon Protection Society? Protection Society? My dear woman, there's a dragon out there that is bent on burning this whole city to the ground. Yes, poor thing. It's usually the owner's fault, you know. Well, I'll catch you later, then. That doesn't work. Well, I suppose the key's safe in her stocking top. No one's likely to dive his hand in there. Nigel Hawthorne Rampshire the Eighth. Hmm, Mambo the Sixteenth. Quite a chubby little chap, aren't you? Tecumseh Farragut the Ninth. catching all the fish that go over the edge. I wonder what
what they eat. I wonder what they eat. A I wonder if it's a boy turtle or a girl turtle. My life just forever seems to lack dignity. My life. I already have one of those. doesn't work. Hmm. At least I hope it's only been used for holding water. That doesn't work. I wish I could think of a wish. Quite a handy wooden crank, this. Quite a handy wooden crank, this. That doesn't work. That does Weight loss, sir? I beg your pop. Feeling like a bucket of lard, sir? Like the proverbial ambulatory what's name? 
whale? Look, what are you selling this time? Just get it over with. It's the Leecho suction. Let me guess. Beauty can be yours while you wait, sir. But what, sir? It drinks blood. It doesn't gobble up cellulite. Depends how much blood it takes, sir. You'd be surprised. It's all guaranteed. Lose weight in one year or your money back. Here, have the leaflet. It says here that the management reserves the right to define one year according to any local calendar it sees fit. That's right, sir. But the Trumelian calendar year is 311 months long. Really, sir? Well, look, seeing as how you're a friend, I'll do you a discount. I'm cutting my own throat, but... I don't need a weight loss system. Have you thought about the future, sir? I mean, you could remove weight now and store it for use in the future. Could cut down on grocery bills, sir. No, I don't think that's very practical. Well, our medical practice now offers a variety of other services and cures, sir. I've got wart treatments, rheumatism, here's a potion guaranteed to cure blindness. But I'm not... You see, sir, a miracle cure. Oh, well, sir, perhaps we can do business in the future. No, thanks. I've had bad experiences with creepy crawlies of late. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. DUI? Donkey under influence? Well, I never. This is what comes of holding low aspirations. Hmm. Strangely luxuriant hair on this donkey. I don't think I'll ask where it's been. What? What are you doing just standing there? Go out and kill that dragon! Him? Him kill dragons? Ha ha! Don't make me wheeze! In my day, we had heroes to deal with dragons. Big fellas with swollen pectorals. At least I think that's what they were called. Heroes aren't so important. I still reckon this youngster over here could kill a dragon if he really had to. Him? Ha! It'd have to be a million to one chance. What can you tell me about heroes? Heroes? Ha! Huh, well, I can tell a hero a mile off. They've always got a magical talisman on them. It's like when you go to a fair. What? And win it? Uh, oh, no, no, not a fair. Uh, a, a, a fate! A fate! That's it! You aren't fated to be a hero unless you can find a magical talisman! Right, you are then. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me.
doesn't work. Grief! I've been read by a book. Stercus! Stercus Mortuous! No, I won't say it. I won't, at least not until I need to. That doesn't work. 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 That spell still rattling round inside my head. The Secrets of Forbidden Confectionery, Volume 3, Love Custard for Beginners. Hmm? What are you lot doing here? Us? Nothing. Yes, you are. You're all here waiting for something. Programs, get your souvenir programs. Only one penny each and I'm cutting my own throat. What's that lady doing lashed to that rock? Um, reserved seating. I thought you said nothing was going on. Well, it isn't. But if anything does happen, then she's got a front row seat. Help! She said help. No, she didn't. She said whelp. She's calling for puppies. Give me one of those damn programs. Opening act, Grand Fanfare and Dancing Girls. The amazing Bendable Sisters will perform amusing novelty acts. Oh, should be worth seeing. Followed by, Lady Rankin will be offered as a sacrifice to appease the mighty dragon. Main attraction, Hero Roast. Sausage sizzle to follow, if wet, in the town hall. Don't worry. We're pretty certain a hero's going to turn up. Where? When? Are you sure? Oh, there's no stopping the buggers. That's what we're here for. And if it doesn't work out, there's always the sausages. Well, now that dragon can meet its doom at last. Little did it expect that it would meet up with a true hero. Who? A hero? Who? Me. So you found all the bits you need then? Yes, now I finally have the power. I'm a hero at last. it's going to be a million to one against you killing it. Never! What can a dragon possibly have to match my wits, my cunning, my majestic pointy hat? Why, the creature's nothing but a lizard with big ideas. Just a scaly, bloated, cowardly... Ahem. I said I'd leave you until last. Go for it, lad. 
Hit it in the vulnerables. Shush! Look, Mr. Dragon, why don't we just come to some sort of agreement? I mean, I am a hero. Heroes win. Well, no fact. On the other hand, in a sensible universe, the actual chances of my harming you are about... A million to one? Yes, that's it. So, in the interests of promoting mutually beneficial relations, why don't you push off and bother another city? Thank you very much. No hard feelings. Case dismissed. You feel this is the best course of action for the overall promotion of positive experience, which is to say, enjoyment and well-being? Exactly! Because if the day ends with one of us dead, then the negative experience of the loser will cancel out the positive experience of the victor? Yes! Yes! That's it exactly! Hmm. Yes? I think I'm going to eat you anyway. Why? Was it something I said? No. It's just that I hate philosophers. Sorry. Well, in that case, take this! Stirkus, Muturus, Sun. Stirkus, Muturus, Sun. Stirkus, Muturus, Sun! Me by that much. No, how did you survive that? Well, that was one chance in a million. Right, right, that's it. I've had enough of you. What happened to the philosophy? I'll give you something to think about. I'll be here. I'll be back. I want the bad guy. That doesn't work. Can't shift it.
Good grief, it's sizzling! That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Aha! The tradesman's entrance. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. I am not a cartoon. I'm just dimensionally impaired. That doesn't work. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. That doesn't work. That do That doesn't work. A massive, scaly, city-roasting, all-destroying, foul, lumpen, slavering... Ahem. ...yet somehow majestically beautiful dragon. That doesn't work.
doesn't work. Not you again. Can't you leave a monster in peace to eat? Smoking death, reptilian trash! Is that a swamp dragon in your hands? Or are you just pleased to see me? This is an M16, the world's most powerful swamp dragon. It can blow your head clean off. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So that's why it doesn't have any vulnerables. It's a girl. A female? On the heat, too. They always get scrappier when they're feeling a little, you know, overheated. Good grief! By mother's hand warmers! This click is going to make me a function. It's hardly suitable for public viewing. Well, you go up there and tell them. Anyway, it has artistic integrity. He's got an interesting seductive technique. Lots of energy, anyway. Pub anyone? Why not? Ah, sorry. Uh, the horse to a shoe. I had to see about a shipwreck. Uh, my side went bloody. Oh, there was a terrible earthquake. Uh, the man got lost. Uh, my room didn't come back from the cleaners. There was a sudden plague. It's not my fault. Oh, bugger. 